design your own life. With Dima Satya Lismana. Subscribe, tekan tombol bell, share dan like videonya ya guys. Terima kasih. This is such powerful information. You think it would be taught in all schools. The truth is it's not. This is real. This isn't just some fancy idea. This is so powerful. Let those lines represent levels of vibration. Every frequency is connected to the one above and the one below. They're all connected. There's no line of demarcation where one frequency stops and another starts. They're all connected and they're all together. Now, think of this. That's my phone. That represents my phone. This represents your phone. If I want to talk to you on your phone, I've got to get on your frequency. The second I'm on your frequency, you and I are connected. Now think of this, it doesn't matter where you are in the world. You could be in Yokohama, Buenos Aires, anywhere in the world. If I dial your number, boom, like that, I'm connected to you. Makes no difference where you are. I could take a picture here, I could hit send, and simultaneous with me hitting it, you've got it. We seem to have a basic understanding of this. I think what I'm saying here, everyone in the room understands this when we're using our phones. However, when it comes to life, we get lost. We don't seem to understand it. Let these lines represent levels of vibration because that's all this is, level vibration. I get on the same frequency as you. Every vibration is referred to as a frequency. My voice is being amplified on a particular frequency. You and I think on frequencies. Thought is energy. Do you know your thoughts are the most potent form of energy there is? Your thought would make the laser beam look like a toy. You'll have a friend a long ways away from you, and um, you're thinking about them a lot, and, and damn if the phone doesn't ring, it's them. You see, you're thinking, your thoughts activated cells in their brain, that got them thinking of you, and they acted, they phoned you. We do this all the time, okay? Now, let's suppose this is the frequency that you're thinking on. If that's the frequency you're thinking on, that's going to dictate the results that you get. The results you get are nothing but the manifestation of your own thinking. We become what we think about. That is the one point that every great leader has agreed on. They've disagreed in virtually every other idea, but that one, we become what we think about. Now let's clearly understand, nothing is created or destroyed. All science and all theology teach that. Nothing is created or destroyed. All the power there ever was or ever will be is omnipresent. All the ideas, it's all the knowledge there ever was or ever will be is omnipresent. It's all here. We didn't have to get it. We've already got it. What we do is got to do is tune into it. So let's say that's where we want to go. This is where I am. That's where I want to go. How do I get there? Well, I'll say I'm going to do that. This is where the average person is thinking. I'm going to do that as soon as I get the money. You can relate to that. I'm going to do that as soon as the kids are out of school. That's not going to do it. We're thinking down here on this frequency. Your mind and your thoughts are down here on this frequency. What you want is up here on a higher frequency. You cannot get what you want up there while your thoughts are down here. Your mind and thoughts must focus on the same frequency as what you want. If you want it, it's already here. Now the second you make a committed decision, everything starts to change. You begin to think and act like the person you want to become. You stop thinking down there, you're thinking up here now. You're thinking on a higher frequency. Want is the only prerequisite for making a decision. If you really want it, you will get it. But you've got to really want it. Yet you also have to understand that everything you need is here. But you've got to be specific. It's not good enough to say I want more money. You see 10 cents laying on the street and you pick it up, you got more money. Sounds silly, but it's the truth. You got more money. You could be a waiter, somebody leaves you a nice tip, you got more money. That's not it. You got to be specific how much more money. You know exactly what you want. You do not have to understand 
all the basic principles between sending the picture to the person on the other side of the world for it to get there. All you have to do is know how to do it. Just get the picture, fix it, hit send. They got it. Want is the only prerequisite for making a decision. Now, do you know, <clears throat> that is so important, you should write it down. Write it somewhere that you're going to see it often. Maybe get a sign and put it up in your house. Want is the only prerequisite to get what you want. That's why successful people make decisions so fast. They know what they want. Most of us are going by what we hear, see, smell, taste, touch. I get dogs at home that can see or see, smell, taste, touch. That just puts you in touch with your outside world. But your lessons come from your inside world, not outside, inside. And you have to use your higher faculties, perception, the will, reason, imagination, memory, intuition. If you really want it, that's all you need. You don't need the money. You don't need to know how you're going to get it. You don't need to know any of that stuff. But you've got to really want it. You see, when you really want it, and you make a decision, you flip your brain onto the frequency that you have to be on. The way to get it is already here. But you've got to get in harmony or you're never going to figure it out. That's why when you get on that frequency, that's the only information that can come to you. Yes, the information you need to get there. You've done this. You've done this in different times, not really understanding what you've done. Now, what we want to do is control the flow of thought energy. We want to let it flow freely to and through us improving everything with which it connects. See, when it flows into us, it has no form. We give it form. We give it direction. Let's suppose that X represents where you are. That represents you, where you are in your life right now. Take a very honest look at your life and see how you got there. Everything that's happened is recorded in your mind. And you can look back and you can see how one thing led to another, which led to another, which led to another. You met this person, you met that person, you moved here, you lived there, you went to work here. And you'll see in your mind how you got to where you are. Because you can look back at it. Now when you go to look ahead, you say, that's where I want to go. This is the dream that comes into your mind and you quickly get rid of it because you don't know how to get there. When we think of something, when it comes to our mind, let's understand Nothing is created or destroyed. We've tuned into something that already is. And rather than let it go, what we want to understand is that there is a place. It's a frequency that we tuned in on, way beyond where we're at in our own consciousness. If we can see it in our mind, we can hold it in our hand. Let's realize if we can see it in our mind, we can hold it in our hand. There is where I want to go. There is a place. The moment your belief matches with any state, you fuse with it. That's a state there. Now, you see, if you don't believe it, you let it go. However, the moment your belief matches with any state, you fuse with it. This union results in the activation and projection of plots, plans, conditions, and circumstances, all kinds of things start to fun happen in our life. When we fuse with that idea, act like the person you want to become. William James called it the actor's technique. Act like you're already there. It's your workshop, and if you're observant, you'll see outer reality shaping itself upon the model of your imagination. This is so powerful. When you move on to a higher frequency, you're going to be communicating with a world that's totally foreign to and beyond the reach of your five senses. Now, until we start studying this, we go by what we hear, see, smell, taste, touch. We've got to get away from that. When you move on to a higher frequency, that's when you start using your higher faculties. You don't go by what you hear, see, smell, taste, touch. You go by what you can see in your mind nobody else can see. You've got to know that you can go there. Yet when you start, everything will start to happen for you. And one thing after another will start to happen. And pretty soon, you find yourself there. And when you get there, you're going to start to become aware that you could have gone there.